Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Kisi-kisi materi kuliah umum Sabtu sore sepanjang masa Elektrik Telekonferensi 10 Januari tahun 2032 Masehi Mission of materials of the public lecture of afternoon Saturday over time with Electric Teleconference of Man January of 10th of year 2022 and no domini. Arahan pendiri dan ketua umum Majelis Pimpinan Pusat Global Yayasan Maningraya The direction from the founder and the general chairman of the Central Global Leadership Assembly of the Great Mandeling Foundation Agus Salim ST bin Abdurrahim Nasution Materi-materi kuliah umum Sabtu sore sepanjang masa Elektrik Telekonferensi di Kantor Pusat Global Majelis Pimpinan Pusat Global Yayasan Manengraya Sabtu 10 Januari tahun 2032, Matrikulium e-Teleconference, Eksistensi Koordinator Biro Hasil Pembicara Forum, Divisi Usaha dan Dana, Majelis Pimpinan Rukun Tetangga, Yayasan Maneng Raya. Di seluruh dunia yang dikonsentrasi taktiskan di Kabupaten Maneng Natal, yang terdapat dalam jurnal bulanan analis riset mikron gen biologis panjang masa, Nomor 264, bulan Desember tahun 2021, Saturday 10th of Man January 2022, Public Literature Italy Conference, Extensive of the Coordinator of the Bureau of Forum Shipping Result, the Division of Effort and Fund of the Neighbourhood Leadership Assembly of the Malin Foundation, on what right is... Concerns and tactics in the agency of Manning Natal contained in the Monday Journal of Disease Analysis of Biological Genetic Micro Novel Time, number 264, of Monday, December 2021. Koordinator Biro Hasil Pembicara Forum di PC Usaha dan Dana, Majelis Pimpinan Rukun Tetangga, Yayasan Manning Raya, untuk Merekomendasikan kepada jurusan teknik sipil, fakultas teknik sipil dan lingkungan, jurusan hukum administrasi negara, jurusan hukum masyarakat dan pembangunan, jurusan hukum bisnis, jurusan hukum ekonomi, jurusan hukum perdagangan internasional, dan jurusan hukum keuangan negara, fakultas hukum, jurusan pendidikan, Teknik dan Kejuruan, Jurusan Pendidikan Ekonomi dan Jurusan Pendidikan Teknik Bangunan, Fakultas Keguruan dan Ilmu Pendidikan, Manajemen dan Kebijakan Publik. Ilmu Administrasi Negara dan Ilmu Administrasi Publik, Fakultas Ilmu Sosial dan Ilmu Politik, Muamalah, Hukum Bisnis Islam, Kewangan Islam dan Hukum Ekonomi Syariah, Fakultas Syariah, Jurusan Teknik Sipil dan Lingkungan, Fakultas Teknologi Pertanian, Jurusan Ekonomi dan Studi Pembangunan, dan Jurusan Ekonomi Sumber Daya dan Lingkungan, Fakultas Ekonomi dan Manajemen, Jurusan Perencanaan dan Kebijakan Publik, dan Jurusan Bisnis Islam, Fakultas Ekonomi, The Development of Urban Studies, and 
Planning, School of Architecture and Planning, Civil and Environmental Engineering, School of Engineering, Business Administration Program, Agus Salim Management. Jurusan Perencanaan Wilayah dan Kota, Sekolah Arsitektur, Perencanaan dan Pengembangan Kebijakan, dan Jurusan Manajemen dan Jurusan Kewirausahaan, Sekolah Bisnis, dan manajemen Universitas Mandailing untuk memutahirkan dengan memahami surat edaran nomor 10 SEM 2018 tentang pemberlakuan standar dokumen pemilihan pengadaan jasa konstruksi dalam rangka lelang dini di Kementerian Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat untuk tahun anggaran 2019 yaitu lampiran satu surat edaran Menteri Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat nomor 10 SEM 2018 tentang pemberlakuan standar dokumen pemilihan pengadaan jasa konstruksi dalam rangka lelang dini di Kementerian Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat untuk tahun anggaran 2019 yaitu The Coordinator of the Bureau of Forum Supervisor Results the Division of Effort and Fund of the Nekbohle the Civil Assembly of the Great Marling Foundation to recommend to the Department of Civil Engineering the Faculty of Civil and Environmental Engineering the Department of State Administrative Law the Department of Law of Public and Development the Department of Business Law the Department of Economic Law the Department of international trade law and the Department of State Financial Law, the Faculty of Law, the Department of Engineering and Vocational Education, the Department of Economic yes, Education and the Department of Building Engineering Education, the Faculty of Teacher Training and Education Science, Management and Public Policy, State Administration Science, and Public Administration Science, the Faculty of Social Science and Political Science, Muamula, Islamic Business Law, Islamic Finance and Sharia Economic Law, the Faculty of Sharia, the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, the Faculty of Agricultural Technology, the Department of Economics and Development Studies, and the Department of Resource and Environmental Economics, the Faculty of Economics and Management, the Department of Planning and Public Policy, and the Department of Islamic Business, the Faculty of Economics, the Department of Urban Studies and Planning, School of Architecture and Planning, Civil and Environmental Engineering, School of Engineering, Business Administration Program. Agus Salim Management, the Department of Regional and City Planning, the School of Architecture, Planning and Policy Development, and the Department of Management and the Department of Entrepreneurship, the School of Business and Management of Mandeling University to update by understanding circular letter. Number 10, SEM 2018, concerning enforcement of standard of selection documents for the procurement of construction services in the context of early action in the Ministry of Public Works and Public Housing for Budget Year 2019, namely in one of the circular letter number 10, SEM 2018, concerning enforcement of standards of selection Documents for, for the recruitment of construction services in the context of early action in the Ministry of Public Works and Public Housing for budget year 2019, namely Pelaksanaan penyelesaian adendum dan pemutusan kontrak
Implementation Settlement Addendum and Termination of the Contract Masa Pelaksanaan Kontrak Kontrak ini berlaku efektif sejak penandatanganan surat perjanjian oleh para pihak sampai dengan tanggal penyerahan air pekerjaan dan hak dan kewajiban para Pihak yang terdapat dalam kontrak sudah terpenuhi The period of implementation of the contract The contract is effective from the signing of the letter of agreement by the parties to their final job delivery dates and the rights and obligations of The fathers contained in the contract have been fulfilled. Pelaksanaan pekerjaan work implementation. Penyerahan lokasi kerja. Sebelum penyerahan lokasi kerja dilakukan peninjauan lapangan bersama oleh para pihak. Pejabat pembuat komitmen berkewajiban untuk menyerahkan lokasi kerja sesuai dengan kebutuhan penyedia yang tercantum dalam rencana. Kerja yang telah disepakati oleh para pihak dalam rapat persiapan penandatanganan kontrak untuk melaksanakan pekerjaan tanpa ada. Hambatan kepada penyedia sebelum surat perintah mulai kerja diterbitkan. Hasil peninjauan dan penyerahan dituangkan. Dalam berita acara penyerahan lokasi kerja, jika dalam peninjauan lapangan bersama ditemukan hal-hal yang dapat mengakibatkan, Perubahan isi kontrak, maka perubahan tersebut harus dituangkan dalam adendum kontrak. Jika pejabat pembuat komitmen tidak dapat, menyerahkan lokasi kerja sesuai kebutuhan penyedia yang tercantum dalam rencana kerja sesuai pasal 19.2 untuk melaksanakan pekerjaan dan terbukti, Merupakan suatu hambatan, maka kondisi ini ditetapkan sebagai peristiwa kompensasi (submission of job location). Before submission of the work location, a joint third review was carried out by the parties. The commitment making officer is obliged to submit. The work location according to the forefathers' requirements states in the work plan agreed upon by the fathers in the contract signing preparation. Meeting to carry out work without any obstacles to the forefather before the warrant starts work is issued. The result of the review and submission are set forth. In the minutes of the submission of work location, if in a joint field review forms things that can result in change to the contents, of the contract, the change must be stated in the contract addendum. If the commitment making officer cannot submit the work location according to The forefather requirement states in the work plan according to Article 19.2 to carry out the work and profit to be an obstacles. Then this condition is determined as a compensation even. Surat perintah mulai kerja.
Pesawat pembuat komitmen menerbitkan surat perintah mulai kerja paling lambat 14 hari kerja sejak tanggal penandatanganan kontrak atau 14 hari kerja sejak penyerahan lokasi kerja pertama kali dalam surat perintah mulai kerja dicantumkan Seluruh lingkup pekerjaan dan tanggal mulai kerja. The Warren starts work. The commitment making officer is his a work starts all the no later than 14. Working days from the signing date of the contract or 14 working days after the first job location is submitted. In the work starts order, it states the entry scope of work and the starting work date. Rencana mutu pekerjaan konstruksi. Penyedia berkewajiban untuk mempresentasikan dan menyerahkan rencana mutu pekerjaan konstruksi. Sebagai penjaminan dan pengendalian mutu pelaksanaan pekerjaan pada rapat persiapan pelaksanaan kontrak, kemudian dibahas dan disetujui oleh pejabat pembuat komitmen, rencana mutu pekerjaan konstruksi disusun paling sedikit berisi Rencana pelaksanaan pekerjaan, metod statements, rencana pemeriksaan dan pengujian. Inspection and test plan, pengendalian sub penyedia dan pemasok. Penyedia wajib menerapkan dan mengendalikan pelaksanaan rencana mutu pekerjaan konstruksi secara konsisten untuk mencapai mutu yang dipersyaratkan pada pelaksanaan pekerjaan ini. Rencana mutu pekerjaan konstruksi dapat direvisi sesuai dengan kondisi pekerjaan. Penyedia berkewajiban untuk memutahirkan rencana mutu pekerjaan konstruksi jika terjadi adendum kontrak. Dan atau peristiwa kompensasi, pemutahiran rencana mutu pekerjaan konstruksi harus menunjukkan perkembangan kemajuan Setiap pekerjaan dan dampaknya terhadap penjadwalan sisa pekerjaan, termasuk perubahan terhadap urutan pekerjaan, pemutahiran rencana, mutu pekerjaan konstruksi harus mendapatkan persetujuan pejabat pembuat komitmen. Persetujuan pejabat pembuat komitmen. Terhadap rencana mutu pekerjaan konstruksi tidak mengubah kewajiban kontraktual penyedia. The quality plan for construction work. The provider is obliged to present and submit the quality plan for construction work as a Guarantee and quality control of the implementation of FOC at the preparation meeting for the contract, then discuss it and approve it by the commitment making officer. The quality plan for construction work is composite of at least containing.
Job Implementation Plan, Method Statement, Inspection and Test Plan, Supervisor and Supplier Control. For fathers are required to apply and control the implementation of quality plan for construction work consistently to achieve the quality required for the implementation of this work. The quality plan for construction work can be Efficient according to work conditions, the profiler is obliged to update the quality plan for construction work if there <sighs> is a contract addendum and or compensation even. Updating the quality plan for construction work must indicate the progress of each work's progress and its In fact, on scheduling the result of the work, including change to the order of work, updating the quality plan for construction work must get the approval of the commitment making officer. The commitment making officer approval of the quality plan for construction work does not. Change the contractual obligation of the forefather, Rencana Keselamatan Konstruksi. Penyedia berkewajiban untuk mempresentasikan dan menyerahkan Rencana Keselamatan Konstruksi pada saat rapat persiapan pelaksanaan Kontrak, kemudian pelaksanaan rencana keselamatan konstruksi dibahas dan disetujui oleh pejabat pembuat komitmen. Para pihak wajib menerapkan dan mengendalikan pelaksanaan rencana keselamatan konstruksi secara konsisten. Rencana keselamatan konstruksi menjadi bagian dari dokumen kontrak. Penyedia berkewajiban untuk memutahirkan rencana keselamatan konstruksi sesuai dengan kondisi pekerjaan. Jika terjadi perubahan, maka dituangkan dalam adendum kontrak. Pemutahiran rencana keselamatan konstruksi harus mendapat persetujuan pejabat pembuat komitmen. Persetujuan pejabat pembuat komitmen terhadap pelaksanaan rencana keselamatan konstruksi tidak Mengubah kewajiban kontraktual penyedia, the construction safety plan, the profiler is obliged to present and submit the construction safety plan. During the preparation meeting for the contract, then the implementation of the construction safety plan is discussed and approved. By the commitment making officer, the police must implement and control the implementation of the construction safety plans consistently. Con the construction safety plan is part of the contract document. The father is obliged to update the construction safety plan in accordance with the conditions of work. If a change occurs, then it is
states in the contract addendum, updating the construction safety plan must be approved by the Commitment making officer, the commitment making officer agreement on the implementation of construction safety plan does not change the contractual obligation of the provider. Rapat persiapan pelaksanaan kontrak. Paling lambat tujuh hari kalender sejak diterbitkannya surat perintah mulai kerja dan sebelum pelaksanaan pekerjaan, pejabat pembuat komitmen bersama dengan penyedia unsur perancangan dan unsur pengawasan harus sudah menyelenggarakan Rapat persiapan pelaksanaan kontrak Beberapa hal yang dibahas dan disepakati dalam rapat persiapan pelaksanaan kontrak meliputi Rencana mutu pekerjaan konstruksi Pelaksanaan rencana keselamatan konstruksi Organisasi kerja Tata cara pengaturan pelaksanaan pekerjaan, jadwal pelaksanaan pekerjaan yang diikuti uraian tentang metode kerja yang memperhatikan keselamatan dan kesehatan kerja, jadwal pengadaan bahan material. Mobilisasi peralatan dan tenaga kerja, konstruksi, penyusunan rencana pengukuran pemeriksaan bersama, dan, dan hal-hal lain yang dianggap perlu, hasil rapat persiapan pelaksanaan kontrak dituangkan dalam berita. Acara rapat persiapan pelaksanaan kontrak, preparatory meeting for contract implementation, at the latest seven calendar days from the issuance of the order to commence works and further to the execution of work, the commitment making officials together with the provider elements of Design and elements of supervision must have arranged preparatory meetings of implementation of the contract. Some of things discussed and agreed upon in the preparation meeting for the contract implementation include The quality plan of construction work, implementation of the construction safety plan, work organization, the procedures for regulating work, schedule of work, followed by a description of work methods that pay attention to. Occupational safety and health, schedule for material procurement, equipment mobilization, and construction workforce. Preparation of gene measurements, inspection plans, and other things deemed necessary. The results of the preparatory meeting for the implementation of the contract are also set forth in the minutes of the contract. Yeah. 
Implementation Preparation Meeting, mobilisasi, mobilisasi paling lambat harus sudah mulai. Dilaksanakan dalam waktu 30 hari kalender sejak diterbitkan surat perintah mulai kerja atau sesuai. Kebutuhan dan rencana kerja, mobilisasi dilakukan sesuai dengan lingkup pekerjaan, yaitu Mendatangkan peralatan-peralatan terkait yang diperlukan dalam pelaksanaan pekerjaan, termasuk instalasi alat Mempersiapkan fasilitas seperti kantor, rumah, gedung, laboratorium, bengkel, gudang, dan sebagainya, dan atau Mendatangkan tenaga kerja konstruksi, mobilisasi peralatan dan tenaga kerja konstruksi dapat dilakukan secara Bertahap sesuai dengan kebutuhan. Mobilization. Mobilization must be implemented no later than 30 calendar days. After the order to start work is issued or according to needs and works plans, mobilization is carried out in accordance with the scope of work, namely, Bring in related equipment needed in carry out work, including tool installation. Prefer facility size office, homes, laboratory buildings, workshops for houses, etc., and all bring in construction worker. Equipment mobilization and construction work posts can be done in states according to needs. Pengukuran pemeriksaan bersama pada tahap awal pelaksanaan kontrak, pejabat pembuat komitmen dan pengawas. Pekerjaan bersama-sama dengan penyedia melakukan pengukuran dan pemeriksaan detail terhadap kondisi lokasi pekerjaan untuk setiap rencana mata. Pembayaran tenaga kerja konstruksi dan peralatan utama mutual check 0% pada tahapan pengukuran pemeriksaan bersama pengguna anggaran kuasa pengguna anggaran. telah membentuk panitia peneliti pelaksanaan kontrak. Hasil pemeriksaan bersama dituangkan dalam berita acara apabila dalam pengukuran pemeriksaan bersama mengakibatkan perubahan isi kontrak, Maka harus dituangkan dalam adendum kontrak, tenaga kerja konstruksi dan atau peralatan utama yang sesuai dengan Persyaratan kontrak dapat segera dimobilisasi, tindak lanjut hasil periksaan bersama tenaga kerja konstruksi dan atau peralatan utama Ikuti ketentuan pasal 65 dan 66, Jane Measurement Examination in the Initial Stage of the Contract Implementation. The Commitment Making Officer and the Work Supervisor together with the father make a detailed measurement and inspection of the conditions.
Op de worklocation voor each payment plan, construction workers en main equipment mutual check 0%. A listed of gene measurement inspection by the users by the user proxies has permitted a contract implementation resist committee. The result of the gene inspection are set put in the minutes if the gene measurement examination result is changed to the contents of the contract. It must be stated in the contract addendum, the contract workforce, and all main equipment that complies with the requirement of the contract can be mobilized immediately for the off of the result of the inspection with the construction workers and all main equipment follows The provisions of Article 65 and 66, Penggunaan Produksi Dalam Negeri. Dalam pelaksanaan pekerjaan ini, penyedia berkewajiban mengutamakan material bahan produksi dalam negeri dan tenaga. Kerja Indonesia untuk pekerjaan yang dilaksanakan di Indonesia sesuai dengan yang disampaikan pada saat penawaran. Dalam pelaksanaan pekerjaan konstruksi bahan baku, tenaga kerja konstruksi, dan perangkat lunak yang digunakan mengacu kepada dokumen, Formula rekapitulasi perhitungan tingkat komponen dalam negeri untuk penyedia mendapat pre, prensi harga dan daftar barang yang diimpor untuk barang yang diimpor apabila dalam pelaksanaan pekerjaan ditemukan ketidaksesuai dengan Dokumen pada pasal 262 maka akan dikenakan sanksi sesuai peraturan perundangan yang berlaku Use of Domestic Production In carry out this work, the provider is obliged to prioritize domestic production material and Indonesian workers for work carried out in Indonesia in accordance with those submitted at the time of bidding in the implementation of construction work, raw material construction, workers and software usage refer to documents, recapitulation form for calculation of domestic component level for For farmers who get price preferences and list of imported goods for imported goods, if there is a disfrequency in the implementation of work with documents in Article 26.2, sanctions will be imposed in accordance with the applicable laws and regulations.
pelaku atau orang bantu. Apa? Tentu saja kau bantu, Adi. Oh, kekota cipas, kekota cipas, aktif kan ya? Ya, cipas nak, begini ni.
itu papa Later than 14 current days from the leasing or should be aware of the event or occurrence of force majeure by including evidence and the result of identification of obligation and implementation proper funds that are hampered and or will be hampered due to the force majeure. Proof of force majeure can be statement issued by the authorized party against in the accordance with the provisions of the legislation and or photo video of documentation of force majeure which has been verified. The commitment making officer asks the work supervisor to conduct crisis on the delivery of notification of force majeure and evidence as referred to in Article H point four in force majeure the fear of one part to fulfill its obligation sufficient in the contract does not constitute a breach of contract or the part if it has been carried out in accordance with the ethical 38.3 the obligation in question is only the obligation and performance of the work part of the work affected and or will be affected as a result of the force majeure in the event of a force majeure the contract can be stopped. The termination of contract because of force majeure can be of any nature while under the force majeure in or permanent if the result of the force majeure is not possible to continue complete the work. Termination of contract because the force majeure. Is carried out in writing by the commitment making officer and accompanied by the reason for termination of employment. In the event that the contract is contrived, the parties may change to the contract. The implementation fraud can be extended at less equal. To the term of the termination of the contract due to the force majeure, the extension fraud of the execution can exceed the budget year. During the force majeure fraud, if the commitment making officer orders in writing to the provider to proceed the work as far as possible, the provider has The right to receive payments as specified in the contract as and receive reasonable reimbursement in accordance with the condition for working in the force major reimbursement of this fee must be regulated in a contract addendum. In the event that the contract is terminated, the Parties settle their rights and obligations under the contract. The provider has the right to receive payments in the contract with the AC payments or
Progress of the work has been achieved after a joint measurement inspection or was it on the audit result? Penghentian dan pemutusan kontrak. Termination of contract. Penghentian kontrak. Penghentian kontrak dapat dilakukan karena terjadi keadaan kahar sebagaimana dimaksud pada pasal 38. Termination of contract. Termination of contract can be done because of the force measure as referred to in ethical CTH, pemutusan kontrak. Pemutusan kontrak dapat dilakukan oleh pejabat pembuat komitmen atau penyedia. Pemutusan kontrak dilakukan sekurang-kurangnya 14 hari kalender setelah pejabat pembuat komitmen penyedia menyampaikan Pemberitahuan rencana pemutusan kontrak secara tertulis kepada penyedia, pejabat, pembuat komitmen. Dalam hal dilakukan pemutusan kontrak oleh salah satu pihak, maka pejabat pembuat komitmen membayar kepada penyedia sesuai dengan pencapaian prestasi pekerjaan yang telah diterima oleh pejabat pembuat komitmen, dikurangi denda yang harus dibayar penyedia apabila Ada, serta penyedia menyerahkan semua hasil pelaksanaan kepada pejabat pembuat komitmen dan selanjutnya menjadi hak milik pejabat pembuat komitmen. Termination of contract. Termination of contract can be done by the... Commitment making officer or provider, termination of contract is carried out at least 14 calendar days after the commitment. Making officer for provider notifies the contract termination plan in writing to the provider, the commitment making officer. In the event that a contract is terminated by one party, the commitment making officer face the provider in the contract with the fraud ACP man that has been received by the commitment making officer. Minus they find that the provider must pay if any, and then the provider submits all the result of. Implementation to the commitment making officer and subsequently becomes the property of the commitment making officer. Keputusan kontrak oleh pejabat pembuat komitmen mengesampingkan pasal 1266 dan 1267 kitab. Undang-undang hukum perdata, pejabat pembuat komitmen dapat melakukan pemutusan kontrak apabila penyedia terbukti melakukan korupsi kolusi dan nepotisme, kecurangan dan atau pemalsuan dalam proses pengadaan yang diputuskan oleh instansi yang berwenang pengaduan tentang penyimpangan prosedur dugaan korupsi kolusi dan nepotisme
dan atau pelanggaran persaingan sehat dalam pelaksanaan pengadaan barang jasa dinyatakan benar oleh instansi yang berwenang. Penyedia berada dalam keadaan pilot. Penyedia terbukti dikenakan sanksi daftar hitam sebelum penandatanganan kontrak. Penyedia gagal memperbaiki kinerja setelah mendapat surat peringatan kontrak kritis. Berturut-turut sebanyak tiga kali, penyidik tidak mempertahankan berlakuna jaminan pelaksanaan. Penyidik lalai cedera janji dalam melaksanakan kewajibannya dan tidak memperbaiki kelalaiannya dalam Jangka waktu yang telah ditetapkan berdasarkan penelitian pejabat pembuat komitmen, penyedia tidak akan mampu. Menyelesaikan keseluruhan pekerjaan walaupun diberikan kesempatan sampai dengan 50 hari kalender sejak masa, Berakhirnya pelaksanaan pekerjaan untuk menyelesaikan pekerjaan setelah diberikan kesempatan. Menyelesaikan pekerjaan sampai dengan 50 hari kalender sejak masa berakhirnya pelaksanaan pekerjaan, penyedia tidak dapat Menyelesaikan pekerjaan, penyedia menghentikan pekerjaan selama 28 hari kalender dan Penghentian ini tidak tercantum dalam jadwal pelaksanaan pekerjaan serta tanpa persetujuan pengawas pekerjaan atau Penyedia mengalihkan seluruh kontrak bukan dikarenakan pergantian nama penyedia dalam hal pemutusan kontrak dilakukan pada masa pelaksanaan karena kesalahan penyedia, maka jaminan pelaksanaan dicairkan, sisa uang muka harus dinulasi oleh penyedia. Atau jaminan uang muka dicairkan apabila diberikan, penyedia membayar denda apabila ada, dan penyedia dikenakan sanksi daftar hitam. Pencairan jaminan sebagaimana dimaksud pada pasal 41, titik 2 di atas dicairkan dan disetorkan. Sesuai ketentuan dalam syarat-syarat khusus kontrak, dalam hal pemutusan kontrak dilakukan pada masa pemeliharaan karena kesalahan penyedia, maka pejabat pembuat komitmen berhak untuk tidak membayar retensi atau jaminan. Pemeliharaan dicarikan untuk membiayai perbaikan pemeliharaan dan penyedia dikenakan sanksi daftar hitam. Dalam hal terdapat nilai sisa penggunaan uang retensi atau uang pencairan jaminan pemeliharaan untuk membiayai pembiayaan pemeliharaan, maka pejabat pembuat komitmen wajib menyetorkan sebagaimana ditetapkan dalam syarat-syarat khusus kontrak. kontrak 
Dalam hal dilakukan pemutusan kontrak secara sepia oleh pejabat pembuat komitmen karena kesalahan penyedia, maka kelompok kerja Pemilihan dapat menunjuk pemenang cadangan berikutnya para paket pekerjaan sama atau penyedia yang mampu dan memenuhi syarat. Termination of contract by the commitment making officer leaving a side article 1266 and 1267 of the civil court the commitment making official can terminate the contract if provider are proven to have conducted the corruption, collusion, and nepotism, fraud, and or for agree in the procurement process decided by the competent agency, compliance about the procedural irregularities. Alleged decryption, collusion and nepotism and or violence of fair competition in the implementation of procurement of goods. Services are declared correct by the competent agency. The provider is in bankruptcy. Profiles are proven to be subject to blacklist sanctions before signing the contract. The profile fails to improve its performance. After receiving consecutive three letters of critical contract warning letter, the profile does not maintain the entry into Force of the implementation guarantee, the provider neglects and defaults on carrying out its obligation and thus not correct negligence will then the stipulated period based on this on the commitment making officials the provider will not be able to complete the entry work even though given the opportunity of 250 calendar days from the end of the work to complete the work after being given the opportunity completing work up to 50 calendar days from the Expression of the execution of work, the provider cannot complete the work. Provider stop work for 28 calendar. This and this termination is not listed in the schedule of execution of work and without the fall of the work supervisor or The provider transfer all contract not because of the change of name of the provider in the event that determination of the contract. Is carried out during the implementation period because of the provider's fault, then implementation guarantee disperse it. The remaining down payment must be repaid by the provider or the advance guarantee is disbursed if given. Providers face a fine if any and providers are subject to blacklist sanctions. The guarantee disbursement is referred to. In Article 41.2, above is disbursed and deposited in the account with the provision in the condition for contracts sufficient.
In the event that the termination of the contract is carried out during the maintenance period due to the provider's fault, then the commitment making officials has the right not to pay a retention or maintenance guarantee, disburse it to finance. Reface maintenance and profiles are subject to blacklist sanctions in the event that there is a residual flu of retention. Money or maintenance guarantee disbursement money to finance financing maintenance. The company making officer must deposit a suitability. In the contract specific terms, in the event that of a unilateral termination of the contract by the commitment making officer, do the providers <laughs> fault the election working group may appoint the next reserve winner on the same work package or the provider who is capable and meets the requirements. Pemutusan kontrak oleh penyedia mengesampingkan pasal 1266 dan 1267 Kitab Undang-Undang Hukum Perdata penyedia dapat melakukan pemutusan kontrak apabila setelah mendapatkan persetujuan pejabat pembuat komitmen pengawas pekerjaan Memerintahkan penyedia untuk menunda pelaksanaan pekerjaan atau kelanjutan pekerjaan dan perintah tersebut tidak ditarik selama 28 hari kalender, pejabat pembuat komen tidak menerbitkan surat permintaan pembayaran. Untuk pembayaran tagihan angsuran sesuai dengan yang disepakati, sebagaimana tercantum dalam syarat-syarat khusus kontrak. Termination of the contract by the providers, including Article 1266 and 1267 of the Civil Code, the provider may terminate the contract if. After obtaining a referral from the equipment making officer, the works supervisor instruct the provider to postpone the execution of work or continuation of work and the order is not withdrawn for 28 calendar days. The equipment making officer does not issue a Payment request for payment of installment bills as agreed, you found as studied in the contract specific terms. Berakhirnya kontrak, kontrak berakhir apabila pekerjaan telah selesai dan hak dan kewajiban para pihak yang terdapat dalam kontrak sudah terpenuhi. The expression of the contract, the contract ends when the work has been complete and the rights and obligations of the father is contained in. The contract have been fulfilled, keterlambatan pelaksanaan, pekerjaan, dan kontrak kritis. Apabila penyedia terlambat melaksanakan pekerjaan sesuai jadwal, maka pejabat pembuat komitmen harus memberikan peringatan secara tertulis atau memperlakukan ketentuan kontrak kritis. Kontrak dinyatakan kritis apabila
Dalam periode 1, rencana fisik pelaksanaan 0% sampai 70% dari kontrak selisih keterlambatan antara realisasi fisik Pelaksanaan dengan rencana lebih besar 10% dalam periode 2, rencana fisik pelaksanaan 70% sampai 100% dari kontrak. Selisih keterlambatan antara realisasi fisik pelaksanaan dengan rencana lebih besar 5% dalam periode 3, rencana fisik. Pelaksanaan 70% sampai 100% dari kontrak selisih keterlambatan antara realisasi fisik pelaksanaan dengan rencana pelaksanaan. Kurang dari 5% dan akan melampaui tahun anggaran berjalan. Penanganan kontrak kritis dapat dilakukan dengan rapat. Pembuktian show cause meeting Pada saat kontrak dinyatakan kritis, pengawas pekerjaan memberikan peringatan Secara tertulis kepada penyedia dan selanjutnya menyelenggarakan rapat pembuktian show cause meeting tahap 1 Dalam show cause meeting tahap 1, pejabat pembuat komitmen, bangas pekerjaan, dan penyedia membahas dan menyepakati besaran kemajuan fisik yang harus dicapai oleh penyedia dalam periode waktu tertentu uji coba pertama yang Menyepakati besaran dituangkan dalam berita acara show kaus meeting tahap 1. Apabila penyedia gagal pada uji coba pertama, maka pejabat pembuat komitmen menerbitkan surat peringatan kontrak kritis 1 dan harus diselenggarakan show kaus meeting. Tahap 2 yang membahas dan menyepakati besaran kemajuan fisik yang harus dicapai oleh penyedia dalam waktu tertentu uji coba kedua. Yang dituangkan dalam berita acara show cause meeting tahap 2 apabila penyedia gagal pada uji coba kedua. Maka pejabat pembuat komitmen menerbitkan surat peringatan kontrak kritis 2 dan harus diselenggarakan show cause meeting. Tahap 3 yang membahas dan menyepakati besaran kemajuan fisik yang harus dicapai oleh Penyedia dalam waktu tertentu uji coba ketiga yang dituangkan dalam berita acara show cause meeting tahap 3. Apabila penyedia gagal pada uji coba ketiga, bak, maka pejabat pembuat komitmen menerbitkan surat peringatan kontrak kritis. Tiga, dan pejabat pembuat komitmen dapat melakukan pemutusan kontrak secara sepihak dengan mengesampingkan pasal satu dua enam enam dan satu dua enam tujuh kitab undang-undang hukum perdata apabila uji coba berhasil namun pada pelaksanaan pekerjaan selanjutnya. Kontrak dinyatakan kritis lagi, maka berlaku ketentuan show cause meeting dari awal.
Delay in the implementation of work and critical contract if the profile is late in carrying out work on schedule, the commitment making officer must provide a written warning or enforce critical contract provisions. Contracts are declared critical if in first period physical plan of implementation of zero percent to 70% of the contract, the difference in delay between physical realization of the implementation and the plan is greater than 10%. In second fraud, physical plan of implementation of 70% to 100% of the contract, the difference in delay between the physical realization of the implementation and the plan is greater than 5% in each period physical plan of implementation of 7% to 100% of the contract. The difference in delay between the physical realization of the implementation and the implementation plan is less than 5% and will exceed the current fiscal year. Handling critical contract is crowded with a group meeting, so close meeting. When the contract is declared critical, the work supervisor gives a written warning to the provider and then holds a group of meeting. So close meeting first. Phase. In SOCOS meeting best phase, the commitment making officer, job supervisor, and for further discuss and agree on the amount of the physical progress that must be achieved by the provider in a certain period of time. Phase trial. As outlined in the minutes of so called meeting first phase, in the profile phase, the first trial, the commitment making, officer issues a warning letter on first critical contract and must hold so called meeting of second phase, which discusses an. Increase on the amount of physical progress that must be achieved by the provider in a certain time trial second, as stated in the minutes of so called meeting of second phase. In if the provider face the second trial, the committee making officer issues a warning. Later on second critical contract and so cost meeting of third phase must be held to discuss and agree on the amount of physical progress that must be achieved by the provider in a certain time trial third, which is set forth in the minutes of so cost meeting. Up third stage, if the provider fails the third trial, the committee making officer issues a warning. Later on third critical contract and the commitment making officer can unilaterally terminate the contract by ruling out article one two six six. And one two six seven of the civil court if the trial is successful, but in the implementation of the next work the contract is the glitch critical again the so called so cause meeting provisions apply from the start Pemberian Kesempatan.
Dalam hal diperkirakan penyedia gagal menyaksikan perjalanan sampai masa pelaksanaan berakhir, namun pejabat pembuat komitmen menilai bahwa penyedia mampu menyaksikan perjalanan. Pejabat pembuat komitmen dapat memberikan kesempatan Kepada penyedia untuk menyelesaikan perjalanan, pemberian kesempatan kepada penyedia untuk menyelesaikan perjalanan dimuat dalam adendum kontra yang di dalamnya mengatur waktu pemberian kesempatan penyelesaian pekerjaan. Pengenaan sanksi denda keterlambatan kepada penyedia, perpanjangan masa berlaku jaminan pelaksanaan, dan sumber dana untuk membiayai penyelesaian sisa pekerjaan yang akan dilanjutkan ke tahun anggaran berikutnya dari daftar isian. Pelaksanaan anggaran, dokumen pelaksanaan anggaran, tahun anggaran berikutnya, apabila pemberian kesempatan melampaui tahun anggaran, pemberian kesempatan kepada penyedia menyelesaikan pekerjaan sampai dengan 50%. Hari kalender sejak masa pelaksanaan berakhir, pemberian kesempatan kepada penyedia untuk menyelesaikan pekerjaan. Dapat melampaui tahun anggaran, giving opportunities in the event that it is estimated that the profile fails to complete the work. Until the implementation process ends, but the commitment making officer assesses that the property is able to complete the work the commitment making. Officer can provide the, provide the opportunity to complete the work, providing opportunities the provider to complete the work contained in the Contract addendum which regulates time for giving opportunities for completion of work. Imposition of alleged penalty for the provider, extension of the validity of the implementation guarantee, and Source of funds to finance the completion of the remaining work to be continued to the next fiscal year from the next fiscal year of budget. Implementation field list budget implementation document if when giving opportunity. Exceeds the budget here, giving opportunity to profile to complete the work up to 50 calendar days since the implementation fraud ends, giving the opportunity to the profile to complete the work can exceed the budget here. Peninggalan semua bahan perlengkapan peralatan hasil perjalanan sementara yang masih berada di lokasi kerja setelah Keputusan kontrak akibat kelalaian atau kesalahan penyedia dapat dimanfaatkan sepenuhnya oleh pejabat pembuat komitmen tanpa kewajiban
perawatan pemeliharaan. Pengambilan kembali semua peninggalan tersebut oleh penyedia hanya dapat dilakukan setelah mempertimbangkan kepentingan pejabat pembuat komitmen, legasis, all materials, equipment, instrumentation, proceeds of temporary work that are still At the work site after termination of the contract due to negligence or fault of the father can be fully utilized by the committee making officials without the obligation of maintenance, free sufficient retrieval of all these relics by the father can only be done after considering the interests of The commitment making officer. Sumber-sumber susis surat edaran nomor 10 SEM 2018 tentang pemberlakuan standar dokumen pemilihan. Pengadaan jasa konstruksi dalam rangka lelang dini di Kementerian Pekerjaan Umum dan Perumahan Rakyat untuk tahun anggaran 2019, lampiran 1. Circular Letter No. 10 SEM 2018 Concerning Enforcement of the Selection Document Standard for Procurement of Construction Services in the Context of Yearly action in the Ministry of Public Works and Public Housing for Budget Year 2019, Enec 1, Google Translate. Mandiri Natal, Sumatera Utara, Indonesia, 1 Januari tahun 2032 Masehi, January Office of 2022, Enod Domini.